now that we want to draw the dendrogram plots we will need one of the data set here so first thing let me type in our studio and then we'll take a look at one of the data set which is usrs right so we'll use that to create our data frame and then use that as a distance matrix right so first thing is creating our script right so here let's create a data frame which is us rs right and now considering it would require a range so 1 to 20 then comma right so we'll run this let me show you how the data frame looks and as you can see here murder assault urban pop all of these crimes and their respective states so this is usrs database right and it is captured for a specific year span right and it looks something like this so whenever you are creating your tabular data you can view it simply by double clicking within our studio for that data frame and you should open the tabular form in one of the tab next to our script right now coming back to our distance matrix we can use tf but we will have to use test function and then pass our data frame to that right so after this we can call dendrogram right so for that we will require it to hold our data and basically we'll be calling edge cluster so it's going to accept your distance matrix so d right so if i try to plot this as is it would but we will require it to plot our horizontal cluster right so what we can do is we can basically select these three statements run and here you see cluster dendrogram and it will show you the list of states and it will try and cluster those based on these type of crimes that are happening right so this data will be represented with the help of clusters there right and once that part is plotted what we can do is we can move on to another option which we can use instead of just using hc we can use plot and inside that we will try and pass as dendrogram right so it's basically a tree structure that will be accepting our hc so if i run this particular statement now it will try and draw right except it won't be adding the label here that it is a, a particular dendrogram or so it will just plot the data in a dendrogram format and forget the rest right now we have managed to do this hierarchical cluster with hc so this hc is hierarchical cluster and we are using two methods to plot it we can directly pass this to plot function or use plot then as dendrogram and then pass this hierarchical cluster right now another thing we can also make few changes like let's say adding rectangulars around the cluster so rec dot h cluster right so hc we are passing it and then cluster variable will be k and then we will be passing three so for three cluster we will be having rectangle around right so if you want to do that in your feed map that is also possible when you are doing those addition and removal of dendrograms so for this particular dendrogram plots you can do that 
and you get these red rectangles around your particular data so now to view things it would be a lot easier and focus on the data that matters right now new thing to do would be we can also set the height for that cluster so instead of highlighting it we can set the height so h is equal to let's say 150 and we can keep the rest of the things as is right so we will select and then run and here you see the height of that particular rectangular will be now increased so instead of close to close that cluster it will have a particular height you can also change few more things like adding a border right so let's see if i choose to have my cluster of c2 and then have border for that equals to right and then let's say as to 4 or something we'll play around with these values I'll simply run and here you have green and blue variations there right now you can also do few of the changes to clusters right so let's say we will be modifying few things so we'll get rid of this rectangular hierarchical cluster now here let me remove this uh, let's say if i want to have cluster methods like single centroid median etc you can have that right so hierarchical cluster h plus t and then i can set a cluster method and I, if i set it equal to single and then say for plot if i go with c as dendrogram and then pass on it c right and here let's say main is set to single right so if i select this and run here you will find your single cluster method with this dendrogram right now you can go ahead with using the median method simply change the method to median and then again here we will be using main set to median right we select these two statements and run and our dendrogram will be reflected similarly we can also add centroid right we add them in both these lines and our cluster method is now centroid which should change the output as well right so these are some of the cluster methods that decides the distance here between the clusters and also show you the variation that you get through that right so what we have seen so far is let's say we have seen how to draw dendrogram then we managed to uh, add some of the changes like hierarchical cluster then added rectangle around cluster also we managed to tweak the height right of those rectangles and then finally change the color based on cluster distribution right and then finally what we have done is we use the methods for clusters which are single then median centroid then there are also few like ward methods that i have not covered here which you can go through if you want right so there are multiple ways you can use this so if you have any other data like say for demography or medical most likely you can use that data set 
right so in this particular option I have is USRS which is the crime data within particular set with the specific type as you can see here total of four different type of crimes and sorted by the available set of states within United States right so that variation you can take a look at right so there is also data like titanic data but the in-depth data and more of tabular data you will find it's easy to create dendrogram right there is also circular dendrogram so you can check that i will be taking a look at that separately